The goal of this video is to write something in an input field, perform a search by using a REST service, and display the result. We use reactive forms because they include observable properties that we can subscribe to receive the current text whenever the user writes to it. After each typing, we invoke a REST service, passing the text as parameter, and we display the result in the DevTool console. We can also open the Network tab and see that after each type, a new request is done. We can also filter all the requests, and in this way, the observer only receives texts that are longer than three characters. And we can also use the debounce time operator to notify a new value only if the minimum amount of time has passed since the previous character. This will prevent the service from being invoked after each character, but only after the whole typing. Anyway, creating nested subscriptions is a bad practice and makes the code harder to read, so we use the switch map operator to subscribe the HTTP call directly within the pipe. Now it works, and if I search something, I get the result in the console. Finally, I save the result in a class property and I add a simple ng4 directive to display it in the template. And I also have to fix the type in the get method since it returns an array of users. And as you can see, it works again. When I search something, I see the list of results. And if there is no result, I see nothing. Finally, I create an observable property that contains the observable sequence and we can subscribe it directly in the template by using the async pipe. Of course, you can use this approach to subscribe form groups instead of for controls, but also with router properties, output events, and any type of observable created by the framework. <laughs>